Ta-da! Hi, how you doing, everybody? So I just did a convenience store run. At this time of day, there aren't a lot of people uh, at the convenience stores. You can kind of pick it out. Um, the reason that I went there was because the 21st of April was our anniversary. We have it actually still here. There's our wedding day um, sign from the from the second party, and. Uh, yeah, I, I had to get some kind of cake. We didn't have a cake. We had a dinner, but we'd have a cake. So I, I reserved Sunday to be one of these days where I would pick up a bag of convenience store cake from all three of them, and we would compare. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, cake time. Friday. Friday. <laughs> all right, so let's give this a try. Here are Here is our lineup. We're expecting kind of a, a shorter live stream. Short and sweet. Number one, this is the competition. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. So this is the competition between three uh, convenience store chains. Uh, Mille, is that how you say? Mille, Mille crepe. Mille crepe. We say Mille crepe. Mille, Mille, cre Mille crepe. Mille crepe. I say Mille crepe. Mille crepe. These are crepes have lots of layers to it and lots of cream. And I, I got this because number one. Every convenience store had this in common. And number two, all these layers could represent the years of marriage that are about to come. The symbolism, symbolism of it. She's made tea. Let me show you the lineup of wonderful cakes that we have here and see which one is going to win. Number one, from 7-Eleven. This is the rare cheese milk crepe. Rare cheese milk crepe. And you can see there are dozens of layers, an infinite amount. So many, I can't count them. All right. 7-Eleven is represented here. Number two, represented is Family Mart. This is the fruits and sando sta milk crepe. Fruits o sando sta. Fruits o sando sta milk crepe. And you can see they put some fruits in there. So what does that mean? That means Family Mart went a little step further than 7-Eleven, although this one has uh, kitty cheese. Uh, cream cheese, which I'm very interested about. America has Philadelphia cream cheese. Japan has this brand, which I believe comes from France. So we're going to be trying these two. Wait, but there's one more. Dun, 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 da, da, da. Nico's already looking for the cream cheese. Boom. This one comes from Lawson's, which is another one. This is Melty Milk Crepe. Milk Crepe. Look at the layers on that. But you can see the color is different on each one of these. So there's bound to be a difference in taste. And this is our anniversary cake because I can't go out and get them. But if you just look from the side, it is a beautiful thing. Look at all those layers, all those years. I should have taken a thumbnail from this angle, huh? Yeah. I. Um, the bakery has closed. Some of the bakeries are, are closed down. I guess it's not a necessity of daily life, but our options for cake is limited. Oh, and by the way, there are some bonus items here as well that we're going to be trying that I picked up at the convenience store. One from all three of the convenience stores. Are you ready for the cake? Yes. All right, good. It's almost 3 p.m. It's uh, okashi time. Yeah, it's the cake time, tea time. Tea time. Right. Yeah. So which one do we try first? Can I, maybe you want to sit on the corner here. Which one should we go for first? We yeah. have, uh, so, all right, forget the t what? names of it. Let's go by convenience store. We have 7-Eleven, <laughs> Lawson's, mm -hmm. and Family Mart. Which one is, is going first? Mm, it seems good. Which one? This one is uh, Family Mart? No, this is Lawson's. Lawson? Yeah, this is Family Mart here. Wow. Because top is like shiny. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what makes that shining. I guess they put some kind of uh, butter on top of it or something. Yeah. yeah. So which one? Mm, this one. All right, we're gonna go for Lawson's first. Let's let's do the unboxing here. Now Lawson's is oh, that's a nice plate. Lawson's is the um, least popular of the three convenience stores right now in Japan. By the way, I I'm sort of faking that I just came in. We came in. I came in earlier and we w washed these downs according to our protocol. It does look like it's in a jewelry box here. Maybe we should just open them all up and give them a very good yeah. look through. All right, go ahead and open them all up, Kanai. We'll do it. I remember which one's which. Oh, that looks so good. 
look at this. This is the Lawson's. And all three of them have these cakes. All three of them have these cakes. Look at the layers on them. Oh man. This one is 7-Eleven and this is the cream cheese layered cake. Oh, this is insane. What are we doing to ourselves? Oh, this is so much better without the... Uh... Oh, there's two pieces. Good. Because I, I think that this one might be the winner. Oh, look at that one. I'm gonna take the plastic off. It's like a... Oh, wow. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, that's just a kind of, that's way, that's so beautiful of a shot. Oh, look at that. That is so good. All right, hold on. Hold on a second, guys. I, I got to take a thumbnail of this. Give me one second. You can put this. Sorry. We're back again. Sorry. I had, I, it was just too delicious not to. Here we go. So we're going to now take a look at all three of these in our stomachs. This is a, mm. this is going to be a battle royale. Uh, you decided to take the um, Family Mart one. Yeah. Can I move it to this shit? Absolutely. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. It's a little dirty there. That's better. It's like from cake shop. I know. <laughs> Japanese convenience stores do a pretty good job of making uh, cakes, making the desserts look good. In fact, I spend a lot of time at when I go to the convenience stores. <laughs> My time is spent in the little cake oh. corner, and I'll just spend most of the time. My friend Tom, who came to visit us in Japan, yeah. <laughs> he spent most of his time in the in the dessert corner as well, just uh, with eyes like this. And at midnight, it's even more more appetizing. <laughs> Many a foreign visitor to Japan has eaten mm. convenience store cake. Wow. Now the prices varied uh, a lot. This one has two pieces. This was actually about four dollars. This one was two dollars and fifty cents, the Seven Eleven cheesecake, and then this one was about a dollar seventy-five for the. Oh. Oh. Gimbal. Welcome back. How was the ride? <laughs> How, did you did you enjoy that? Yeah, so convenience store cakes are amazing and they do a really good job because I'm pretty sure that there's scientists there just studying every single aspect of it, analyzing the deliciousness of it and what ways mm. to get people to part with their dollar fifty to three dollars. And it happens quite often. All right, we have a beautiful rose hip tea here. All right, we've decided to go with <laughs> we decided to go with um, the Lawson's cake yeah. first. So let's give this a try, and I want to take some of your wow. questions here. Uh, Tony P's here. Hey, Tony, <laughs> thank you. Shane, hi, John and Kanai from Shane and, and Ida. I love the cakes from Lawson's. Uh-oh. Tony writes in, John and Kanai, those look delicious. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Lisa D's here. Happy anniversary, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get this done here. All right, Lawson's. Hey. Ladies first. Very impatient man. I can film it. Oh. Wow. I love the color on top mm. of it. Is that some kind of gel? Hold on a second. Is that some kind of... Oh, that must be like gel. caramel or something on there. Oh, look at that. You're breaking through the layers. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> All right, give it a try. Good? It's good. Okay. Mm. Don't say anything. Let's, let me... Because... <laughs> okay. Because I, I, I want to I wanna make sure that we do this at like the same time. Mm. There's what a piece looks like. It's very soft, nice bottom to it. We saw the top had like a caramel layer to it. Mm. It's not jam. It's caramel. Mm. Mm. Wow. What I love about these... Um, Crepe cakes are each layer of it has kind of a tension to it. Mm. So when you bite into it, uh, you're like breaking down layer after layer. It's like, uh, 
man. You can you can <laughs> taste that, and it, it's such a good consistency in the mouth. Just eating cream is no fun. No, yes, it is. Mm. But just eating cream is it can get boring. But when you have layers of it, it's so much better with the with the crepe in between it. It's so delicate too. Mm. Um, I like it. I like it too. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to beat though. Oh. It's gonna be really hard to beat. Uh, lens smudge. <laughs> All right, you know what, Nosh? I'm just gonna do it like this. How you doing? The worst thing that we can have is a lens smudge. I cannot stand oh. for it, but. Then, better. I don't know. It's up to the people. Next up, we're gonna be trying this one, and at the end of it, we're gonna give you our thoughts. I want to get through mm. the cakes. Pretty good. This is wow. from Family Mart. Go ahead and cut this up and try it. This is Family Mart. Yeah. Wow. I'm I'm very impressed with Family Mart's desserts. Strawberry, kiwi, orange. Oh, in the middle of it, yeah. Look at that kiwi. I think that's like a mecon. How come you're using the spoon instead of the fork? I don't know. I don't know. I like wood spoon. You like the wood <laughs> spoon, okay. That's all right. Whoa, it looks good. Mm. Okay, don't say if it's better or not. <laughs> no, we have to compare. Seriously, this is scientific. I, be, I don't want to make a judgment before I've tried all three of them. All right. Here's what a bite looks like. It's for the record. That's a lot more cream in it. It's yeah. like a spoon of cream, pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last but not least is 7-Eleven's cake here. This is the cream cheese millet. Ooh. Give this a go. Okay. This. Now, this is not cream, but cream cheese. So, I think... It's going to be harder to cut. Go ahead. It's a little bit, a little bit heavier, right? I get big one. Hold on, don't move the slide. <laughs> oh, you're moving. Okay. Yeah, that's a big one. Wow. Keep it still. Look at the layers on there. All right, try it. Let's see it. Uh oh, just by by that we got. I think we got a winner. <laughs> just by the actions. All right, now yours truly's got to give it a try here. It's for science here. This is more than food. It's a little bit heavier, and you can tell the color is different compared to the others. This is Seven Elevens. Oh yeah. This is a tough, this is tough. Mm. This is tough. So can I, which one, which one do you think goes in for the win here? We have Lawson's, Family Mart. Mm. I decided. And 7-Eleven. And the winner is? This one, 7-Eleven. That's 7-Eleven, yeah. what? For me. For you. Mm -hmm. All right. For you. For me, it is very, very close. I thought that this one was good with the fruit in it. But I have to be honest with you, I kind of, I kind of, uh, it, it was, there was too much cream in the middle of it. I like mm. the layers, you know, and you, this is missing layers and added fruit. And to me, I, I don't think that was, that was good enough for me. I, I, it was different, let's just say. But yeah, I, I'm going to have to give it to this one. Although the Lawson's one is a classic. Yes. I think it is a more of a classic taste to it. Mm, it's plain. And it's lighter. It's lighter than the 7-Eleven one. But for if I'm just going to eat one piece of cake, there's something about the cream cheese in it. There's another flavor that hits on your, on, the, on your tongue, another level. And for me, this one wins. My favorite part of the cake is not the front. It's the back where the layers are without the cheese. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a geek like that. I kind of, if you don't want all the cheese, you can have the back end and you can see... The, it's not as layered. There is a nice cake to it, you see right there? And I tasted that as well. That also adds, adds another kind of uh, um, flavor to this. Mine's a mess. Mm. Mm. 
Um, the rest is yours. I'm on a diet. Lawson's was robbed. We had some people in here going, Lawson's was robbed. This is good. It is pretty good. Yeah. Strumento writes in here, proof that you can't leave your cake, you can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> well said. And Brendan Walker's here. This stream made me go oh, grab coffee cake, cake from the kitchen. <laughs> oh, thank you. Can it be on my list? All right. So we've got this, and and I'm actually gonna uh, save my the rest of the slices for for uh, another time because I I went out and I bought. Bonus items here. Ooh. That's right. Over here, because if you go into a convenience store, and I don't do that very often, maybe this is the second time in, in a month? No, third time. About once a week, I'll go out for a supplementary run. This one comes from... Oh, this one's from Lawson's. Now, for the supplementary one, I think Lawson's might win because this one just looks so darn good. Mm -hmm. This one is a roll cake, and roll cakes are very popular in Japan. But what makes this special is that it's Hokkaido cream. Do you see that? Mm. And on the top here, it describes the cake as mochi. Right? Yeah, mochi shopan. It's Mochi shopan, mm. meaning it's kind of uh, springy, uh, cushiony. Yeah, mochi, we say mochi, mochi, mochi. Mochi, mochi. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that this might win for the bonus items. These are just random things I, I found. I found this, but I dropped it. What's happened? <laughs> yeah, I dropped it. I dropped it. Seriously. Oh, I my didn't... gosh. I know. Look at it from the other side, or else 7-Eleven wow. might get angry. He got an accident. He had a slight accident <laughs> here. This one, according to the uh, label, or label, matcha. is a matcha no uh, torokeru. Nama like, cheesecake. Nama cheesecake. Rare, rare cheesecake. Yeah, this is this is the mochi mochi's got something uh, up against here. Matcha, rare cheesecake. So I'm kind of looking forward to trying this one. This is a bonus contest. What is that bottom? The bone, the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Some, I don't know, but it got mashed. Oh, this is from Family Mart, by the way. Oh. It says up here, Fam Famima Sweets. So Lawson's and Family Mart. And uh, from 7-Eleven, I couldn't find too many things. So it's like, I, wait a second. I don't, all right. I, I don't know why I picked this one up here. I, I just thought it was pretty unique. This is Detective wow. Conan. This is Detective Conan. That's what he looks like. A lot of you, maybe if you've, you've read the manga. And he, he, there's some movies on Netflix, I believe, as well. It's a whopping $2.50. And probably half of that went to Bondi. But what does it look like? It looks like this. And inside there... You can see his little suit in there, and he's looking up through the cake. <laughs> through the cake. Yeah, <laughs> kind of doesn't look like him, but we'll give this. We'll, we'll open it up and see how these three compete. It might win on just cuteness factor. It might win just on cuteness, right? Let's give this. Uh, which one do you want to try first? Mm, this one, mochi. All right, the mochi mochi because this one, this one is just exciting. So the stream does continue with a bonus because we got the 200 likes. Now let's get the 500, the next tier. Mm. Hey, Kelly, uh, True Gio, 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 thank you very much. It's nice, it's six pieces here. Yeah, this piece is dedicated to you. <laughs> mm. It's nice to dedicate the cake. Um, look at that cream in there, that's a lot of cream. Callan for food. Happy anniversary of John and Kanai. Mille cakes equals thousands of layers. Thank you. I thought that was a good good anniversary cake, right? Because each layer represents a year, like a tree. You know, like when trees get older, they make a one ring. I don't know. Just my warped sense of thinking here. All right, go ahead, Kanai. You can go first. I'm very curious to see the mochi mochi in action. Each bite gives a spring. Why don't you smash it? Try to give it some... Oh, yeah. I think this middle one is mochi mochi. Well, don't move it too much. Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. All right, give it a try. Let's it's see. A, it's a lot of whipped cream. I know. And I would <laughs> probably eat it by eat the cake and then suck the cream out because I eat my Reese's peanut butter cup sort of the same way. Mm. I bite around the edges and then I just I separate the chocolate from the peanut mm. butter. Mm -hmm. It's good? Mm -hmm. Mochi mochi? It's almost whipped cream. It's just whipped cream. But it's good. Ah. It's gone. 
Mm. What, what's here today is gone today. So don't expect it to come around, stick stick around. Mm, okay. It is pretty, vo pretty voluminous, heavy. It would be the more appropriate word. <laughs> but it's got some volume to it, I'll tell you that. Um, and you can see the difference in the color. It looks like there's a plain old bread uh, cake to it. And then on the outside, a different color. Is that the mochi? I don't know. Mm. Dense, that's a good word, right. <laughs> Ramsey silence in the house. Mm. Mm, it's good. It's got some spring to the bite. Mm. That's my mochi mochi. Like this. I mean, it's mochi mochi. It's going to be hard to beat. Next up, we're going to have to go with the matcha. We are going to have a, a very nice dessert after dinner as well. I think this stuff will keep. <laughs> <laughs> Italian bombshell. Thank you. Wow. 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 Something happened. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to drop. It just kind of happened in there. Oh. All right, let's get a let's get a close up of this uh, matcha cream here without the covering. Wow. Um. Yeah, matcha is infused into the cream when they do this. I've seen chefs make a matcha cream, but that color is so representative of matcha, mm. right? A deep color means it's probably pretty good matcha. If it's if it's a brighter um, green, then it's a little bit more suspect. But this does look like a little bit brighter of a green down the bottom. It'll be interesting to see. Ah! It'll be interesting to see if it's any good. Go ahead, Kanai. Oh. I'll leave it down on the table here. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and... Wow, it's almost cream. <laughs> that looks pretty heavy. That looks like a pudding. Yeah, it's cheesecake, right? Yeah. Mm. It's matcha. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> if it wasn't matcha, it's I'd be matcha. worried. I, I feel big matcha taste. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, let's start. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything mm. throughout. Start off with some of that filling on the top. Oh wow, that's a great, that's a great um, cut wow. through. Yeah, you have the cake, the cream. <laughs> I'm losing it onto the carpet. <laughs> This carpet's seen some action. If you remember the, ref the midnight snack live stream from earlier, <laughs> it didn't go well. <laughs> wow. Matcha? Matcha, in, in cakes and cuisines, matcha has this very bitter taste to it. There's a sweetness. Why matcha works so well in desserts is that that bitterness that hits another part of the tongue. And I'm talking about maybe Japanese palates, but the cream is cream. I mean, it's just something that we're all so used to. It's good. Ice cream. Ah. Mm. But there's certain ingredients like chocolate and there's matcha and there's strawberry, little things that hit different, like the tartiness of the strawberry, the bitterness of the matcha, like that that's that uh, rich thickness of the chocolate, like these little things mm. will hit in different areas. Uh, matcha is one in thing that just works well with sweets. Mm. Um, that's bitter, like bitter chocolate, I guess would be uh, on your comparison. But the tea of it, if you like matcha, you're gonna like matcha desserts. You if, like green tea, the all green tea matcha? The problem is that I have, a, I'm affected by caffeine a lot and mm. matcha has more caffeine than coffee. So my, my heart, when I start drinking matcha, goes like this. Uh, and if I do, if I'm lucky it's still like 3.20 because if I eat or drink matcha after 5 p.m., I have trouble sleeping. That's how much the matcha affects me. It's true. So I don't eat a lot of matcha foods after a certain time. Even this will contain a ton of matcha. 
uh, in there. Is this Japanese matcha? Can you I check? Think so. Yeah, it's also good to check where the matcha is from to get to. Mm. We read the labels more and more. They doesn't like. It doesn't write about where. The just they like matcha. The, it doesn't write Uji matcha. That would mean that it would come from the the famous Kyoto area. Yeah, I hope so. It's still pretty good. <laughs> so this was good. It gave you bitterness, and when you looked at the cross layer, you got to see a different kinds of textures and different kinds of tastes, and that's pretty important for dessert. Which means that this thing is gonna, if besides the cuteness factor, is going to have a tough time to compete. Conan, Conan is gonna get unboxed right now. It's like jewelry, right? Happy anniversary, <laughs> Detective Conan. It's very nice. It's wagashi. It's wagashi. It's Japanese cake. Very comfortable in his little room. This is like a capsule hotel for Conan. Conan's private. Wow. Look, see, I told you, he lo he's locked in there. You're yeah. not supposed to close the capsule hotel. There's no lock on capsule <laughs> hotels, but how did he seal himself in? Conan doesn't want to come out. Are you serious? No, 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 I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. They protect Conan. Careful. Oh. Over the crest, thank you. Yay. Over the crest, thank you. Oh, look at this. Look, his head's on a cookie. His head is on a cookie. He's shaking. Why is he shaking? <laughs> Welcome to the world. It's I'm sorry, cute. we didn't want to bring you out of your capsule. It's but cute. I know that you're, you're going to love where you're going to go next, which is a nice warm place where you're going to be broken up into several thousands of pieces and ingested through the intestines. It's going to be quite a ride. Tell us what you find down there. Right, buddy? <laughs> but this is, it is pretty cute, and it's gonna be hard yeah, to beat in taste. But will it beat in taste? I don't, I don't know how good this is gonna be or how bad, but which, it is cute. Which part should I eat? The head, of course. <laughs> I don't know. Are you, it's, all right, this one is all for you. I'll take the leftovers. I'm happy to take the leftovers. But Conan's head, <laughs> cut him in half. That's just wrong. Look at the texture of the cookie that, that is his head. Presentation is five stars. And you can see, sorry, I don't want to shake you around too much, but the hair looks like it's kind of some sort of chocolate icing, a cookie, white chocolate. Um, I don't know what that, that bow tie is, but it looks good. All right, I guess we're going to have to cut them in half. And the glasses are not really glasses. They're just indentations on there. So oh, wow. You're going to cut him? I don't know. I, you got to cut him in two. So why don't I cut him? And then you... Oh, can you get a knife? Maybe we'll get a knife. I don't want to... Are you going to use a knife? I, I don't, yeah, I don't know what else to do. We got to cut him somehow, and I don't want to cut him with a spoon. That's just cruel. This is cruel and unusual punishment. Can you? Let's get him a proper knife, you know? <laughs> Would you, it, that's just rude to cut... If you're going to, it's like the, all right, let's go back to like medieval France and the guillotine's coming. You don't want that guillotine to be a spoon. It's just not right. And in fact, Conan doesn't deserve the guillotine at all. But I mean, it's, uh, yeah, surgical is the answer. Can I get the big plate? Sure. Because we're going to use this to cut, cut him up on. All right, Conan. Scalpel. Patient ready, please. The patient ready. Patient is, is ready. Anesthesia. Oh, it's cute. Put him to sleep. Please count backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're going to sleep now, Conan. <laughs> nice. On his own. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I've done this before. All right. All right. Just, just, it's, it's. <laughs> what, what are you laughing at? It seems like surgery. It is surgery. <laughs> what? Is this wrong? Should I stop? <laughs> I'll stop if you want me to stop. 
Mr. Das says case is closed. <laughs> Mr. Das says case, case closed. It's just, it's right, just snack. It's just I, snack. I have to yeah. focus now. I have to focus. <laughs> Still asleep. He didn't hear any of that, thankfully. All right, here we go. All right, just do it quickly. Just do it quickly, all right. Case closed. Okay. Oh, this is... This, wow, it's like cutting through clay. Okay, scalpel. All right. Incision is made. Very little bleeding. All right, let's open it up. What's inside? I don't know what's inside. Hold on. Just, just quick, just very carefully. Oh. Don't worry, we'll put you back together. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, okay, this is very interesting. What have we found in here? Oh, oh, wow. It's interesting, huh? Conan, that's what, so for all of you who are, are lovers of his show, <laughs> this is what's inside Conan. Pretty much um, uncle, white mm, bean white paste. Uncle, yeah, so his brain is, actually he has a brain. Um, which is why the anesthesia took 10 seconds to work. That brain is made of red bean paste. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, and he does have internal organs. Time of death is... Uh, <laughs> what is this? It's like crazy. You, all right. Uh, 3, 27, and 5 seconds. Okay. Let's try Conan. Which which half do you want? Mm. I cut him. You pick the half. No, I'm gonna pick left one. Oh. Looks good, huh? Yeah. This <laughs> is like he's cut in half. Oh my gosh! Okay, this is crazy. I don't know why this is so much fun. I don't know what happened to him. Oh. Thank you, Conan. Thank you, Conan, for your sacrifice. Just, just eat the freaking bird. <laughs> okay, we got a Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You know, all the mysteries of the world are starting to become clearer now. All the answers that I was searching for have been discovered. I actually like this because it's not cream. <laughs> you see, we've been eating. Do you see we've been eating just basically cream, 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 cream. And Conan was the difference. That was the X factor. My detective powers have increased. I'll have to see over time how how much of a detective I've become. Well, whatever whatever that percentage is, I bet you it's about 50%. Because I only ate 50% for the other half. Mm. All right. How was it? Mm, it's good. It's uh, like manju. It's Japanese cake. Yeah. You know, I, I, thought it was, I thought it was really good. It's not too sweet. Mm. It wasn't too sweet, but it has enough of a... Um, you know, American cake has a very heavy, heavy like buttercream, right? Mm. I like this because it had like that buttercream heaviness to it. Mm. Whereas the other things, and this is Japanese cake. They, Japanese cake is made with this kind of a nama cream, you know? Yeah. That's the icing. Icing in Japan, Japanese cakes is such a disappointment for so many Americans because it's, it's, it's too light. I'll, although I, I can't say that I disagree, you know, I'm disappointed by that. But when I have a cake, I want to have that butter ri richness to the icing. And maybe that's just mm. because I grew up with it. She doesn't like it. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't like butter cake a lot. Uh, but I, we don't even call it butter cake. It's just cake. But you don't like fruit cake, right? I don't want the fruits on the cake. Just give me the mm. sugar, the butter. <laughs> Let's go straight into it. If you want <laughs> fruits, then you're in the wrong place. Is this only in America thing? No, there's people who like fruit cakes only in America. In yeah, it's just me. Okay. I, and you know, okay. I'll tell you a little secret. When I do go home to America, mm. I always get a birthday cake, even though it's not my birthday. It's nobody's birthday. Um, I'll just buy one because I miss that thick, sweet, rich butter cake that I had when I was a kid. And I'll just get a small one 
And usually I'll share it with everybody, but no one wants to eat it because there's just no reason to eat the butter cake. And then in the end, I eat like 90% of it, which is not good for you. Mm -hmm. I always get a third chin. Um, <laughs> but I, the last time I think you can write something on it. And every time at the supermarket, they say, what do you want to write? And I don't know. I don't want to write happy birthday. I, I, so I always say something that'll make them smile. I said, um, this cake deserves better. <laughs> you know, like she goes, oh, that's original. And then the lady will write, this cake deserves better. And then I'll take a picture of it and it just looks so pathetic. But I still eat it. You um, ate sunshine cake last time. Yeah. <laughs> and I learned that they have the yellow food coloring comes from like smashed up little bugs or something. But in the end, I can't taste the bugs. I just taste the, the sunshine. So we had a, a yellow sunshine cake last time I went back. All right, enough of that. What I think is really good is this Conan. Um, but which one of those three bonus items, Kanai, do you think takes the cake? <laughs> what? Which one was the best? Mm, I like this one. Okay, so the mochi mochi cake here. Mochi mochi roll cake. Ah. Mm. Yeah, this one, this one was pretty good from Lawson's. Mm, because it's uh, six pieces inside also. Yeah, so and then... you can share with your family. Oh, right, that's good. I like... Wait, wait... We're going on taste, not on convenience. So Kanai is like ranking it in her mind based yeah. on convenience. <laughs> oh, it's made of six pieces and we can share it and eat it over time. It tastes Whereas good this, too. This is just one big heap of mess and you can't share that, but this you can. That, <laughs> she actually factored that in. I didn't even think about that. Well, you could actually give each family member one layer. Does that yeah, work? Yeah, I like this one a lot too. Oh, this one. Yeah. All right, we're going to do two breakdowns then. So you're going for the mochi cake. I'm going for Conan just because it was different. Not that it was any better or worse. It's just it was too much fun to cut him open. <laughs> the process deserved in itself was a ritual that I will never forget. It's the best anniversary cake ever. <laughs> so... um. In terms of the best one out of all of these, I'm gonna mm. probably have to say uh, this 7-Eleven uh, mm. kitty cake, the cream cheese cake is the winner for me. We, how about you? This one too. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be the winner mm. there. This one is a winner. Uh, Navin, thank you so much. That looks like it's coming from, from Indy, I think. Next time, get two Conans. <laughs> actually, actually, when at the 7-Eleven, they didn't just have Conan, they had Conan and his whole cast, and I only bought one. I should have bought like four, because they had like four different characters. So, that might mean that if I do a midnight snack run, I'll get the entire cast of Conan characters, perhaps, maybe. Thinking of ideas that I, only you can do when you're self-isolated. <laughs> but thanks for that, I appreciate it. Why are you guys looking that way? We're over here. So in the end, I think it's going to be this cheesecake, the 7-Eleven that takes the, takes the cake. Um, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> One year, uh, two years. Two years. Not three years. I learned that the hard way two with years. 100 comments slapping me across the face really hard. It was tough. Um, but we're going to be doing another live stream uh, next week. We have a bunch of them coming up. Actually, the Abe no mask or the government masks that we're supposed to get. Mm. Get this, okay? They were recalled. Um, <laughs> this is a funny story. So I read on the newspaper that the Abino masks were recalled. Mm. They were made in factories in Myanmar and in, um, Myanmar and I think it was either China or Vietnam. And the masks, some of them had human hair in them. So they had to recall all of the masks and the ones that went out, they had, they said they had a funky smell and had human hair. I'm, I'm reading from, um, the Japan Times, I think. Yeah, it was in, it was either Kyodo or Japan Times. Uh, so we didn't get our government masks. Uh, Abe no masks uh, is what they call it because Prime Minister Abe, uh, and I think it's a good thing, but not if the masks are contaminated. So we'll, hopefully they come next week, uh, the new masks, and we'll get it, give you a review on them. Um, we haven't gotten that. And uh, next week we have, Kanai's going to make a dish from the Instapot, right? Yes. Yeah? yeah? We have an Instapot that was gifted to us from um, Katayama, which is one of our uh, supporters on Patreon, and we found ways to make Japanese recipes using it. Mm. So we're going to bring you in our kitchen again and do some more Kanai's cooking. And uh, I have a big announcement coming next week uh, about the channel, and I'll be adding memberships to this channel starting next week as well. 
Um, it's not something that's going to be cannibalizing. I think I talked about this yesterday. It won't cannibalize uh, Patreon supporters. It'll add to it, and that's what I was looking for, a happy way to, to uh, offer something for everybody. And uh, things are getting pretty exciting. Maybe a little bit more midnight midnight snack with a little bit of camping thrown in there. I don't know. I have a feeling. And some and some delivery. Can I want some unagi? So we might do an unagi yeah, home unagi delivery. delivery. Yeah? So we might do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Italian bombshell just said, can I, you should sew and make some masks. Oh, yeah. I think... So only in Japan masks would be pretty cool, only too. Only in Japan masks. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Yeah. pretty cool. All right. Thank you, guys. Marty, thank you so much. I appreciate the support, everybody, for Mr. Das is up for the midnight snack. I see that. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of Asahi. Bye, guys. Bye. See you soon.